This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Somer. Today, we're going to create the Nightmare Cocktail. This is a spillover from last week's Halloween edition, except for we have five recipes. This one, I didn't have the key ingredient when we recorded, which was taped early due to a party we had to go to, costume party, hence the thing I was doing. And so what we have now is some Jack Daniels Honey Bourbon. It's bourbon, right? This is going to be a nightmare. Tennessee Honey Whiskey. It's going to be awesome. No, it's not. It's going to be gross. Oh, yeah, I know why. So, the key ingredients here, one ounce of Jack Daniels, one ounce of Hypnotic, and a half ounce of Absinthe. This was full before the Halloween party we went to. People were doing shots of Absinthe. Sorry, Phineas. Ferb. The oh, Ferb. Uh, so... And? Some bitters. A couple. Two dashes of bitters. I've got, I'm going to use some Peychaud, I think is how you say it. Bitters. But we, if you have an Angostura, you can use those too. There's a little, I, I smell them. There's just a little, I mean, it's ever, it's an aromatic bitter. So it's, it's got a different aroma to it. I, I kind of like the aroma of this better, but I haven't tried these. So you know what? Get out of your comfort zone. We're going to try something new. So are you. All these ingredients together. It's going to be awesome. I always try them, and then I make this horrible face and go, oh, that was disgusting. You have done that in the past. I, I can attest to this this factual information. So this is the first time I've got to utilize this besides sucking a little out of the bottle. Lovely, now you have bottle has herpes. Yeah, I got herpes on the bottle. I mean, if I have herpes, I don't really know. <laughs> but apparently 80% of Massachusetts does. No, oh really? Yeah. That's an awful big number. It's probably that same way everywhere. Actually, that's because, uh, like, cold sore is herpes, isn't it? Yep. Just with random facts that <laughs> some guy at work was telling me when he that went you now found out to on. get tested before he got married. This guy's very anal about how he does things, I think. Who goes and gets, like, I, I guess maybe you do if you're, like, a roaming maybe bachelor. You, yeah, you've slept with a lot of women. You're like, all right, I really like you. I don't want to give you something. Oh, no, they both, they both got tested, so. Well, maybe she slept with a lot of guys. And he was just doing it because she was doing it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a player. So that's what I'm going to do. That's how he showed he cared. <laughs> I really care about you. I don't want to give you an STD. I'll go get checked. Right. <laughs> now, you could probably stir this. I didn't plan on stirring it. There is no real juices in here. So I'm going to shake it because I can't find my stir thing anywhere. Spoon. Yeah, spoon. But you'll get a different look to it, whether that's appealing to you or not. Do you care? Whatever. If you just like to shake stuff. Like your body? Yeah. That's what I was just doing. Uh, I know. That's why I commented. It's got that absent smell, and some people ask me, what does that smell like? Anise, fennel, black licorice, black licorice those Use little jelly beans. Some people understand. Some people are into fennel, so you might know what fennel is. I, I didn't until I had bitten into fennel and went, wow. It's like biting into lettuce, but with black licorice taste. It's weird. Uh, again, it's always neat to do some sort of weird experimentations like that to your face. Black jelly bean, really. Black licorice and black jelly bean taste a little different. Yeah. It depends. Lafay kind of tastes like uh, more black jelly bean. But it still has it that. It makes your tongue numb like black jelly bean does. Do they? I guess they do, don't they? Make my tongue numb. It smells really much, really much. Is that a word? Really much? Very much like hypnotic meets absinthe. This has kind of got that, like a. I don't know, it's an aroma of like exotic fruits, but what are, I don't remember what the fruits are. I always forget. It's aroma. It's got passion aroma to fruit. it. Maybe it's passion fruit. No, that's, um, 
The other one, X-rated. Yeah. Sweet, but in the weirdest way. There is a little bit of bitters in the finish. <laughs> Oddly enough, these flavor, if you're looking for a cocktail that is completely unusual, that kind of tackles all kinds of weird flavors, all at the same time, a little bit of, I don't even want to call it alcohol bite, but I think I do. Yeah, it's going to be the alcohol. My tongue is dumb. Uh, it's all the taste buds in the craziest way. I think it's interesting, and I kind of like it. I'm going to add a little ice here. Because this is, if there's comfort zone cocktails, then there's unusual ones, there's sours, and I'm not huge on too much of a sour type of play. This one has the unusual, but in a way, I can like it. It's got the little black licorice flavors, some tropical, almost like a pineapple, honey, and a little of the, the bitters, but ever so subtle. Oddly enough, because there's not much liquid here, these bitters, even two drops, should pretty much explode. Lots of flavors, very neat aroma, not for everybody. You will probably not like this drink. Way to be positive. It gets a little easier. It's like, you know what it was? That was my first sip of alcohol for the day. It's much more palatable in the second sip. You mean you didn't start drinking at 10 in the morning? No. No. The key note here, this is a one. Never have more than one because it's just, you're not gonna be able to taste anything after this. This has a lot of palate punch to it. It's a roller coaster of all the flavors. So I don't, I'm thinking this is a perfect size, a good respectable portion to really get your flavors thinking and get outside your comfort zone. So there you go, everydaydrinkers.tv. Oh, by the way, thank you, T-Kill Virus for this recipe. We're teaching you how to drink.